Hello, and thanks for tuning in. On behalf of Bookkeeping Express and the newly founded Bookkeeping Express University, your source for training and other helpful knowledge resources, welcome to this course entitled The Bookkeeping Express Value Proposition. As per our agenda, this video will explore and provide answers to the following questions. What is a value proposition? What are the key elements to consider when architecting a solid value proposition for a company? What specifically is Bookkeeping Express's value proposition? And finally, how can we most effectively communicate our mission-critical BKE value proposition to our prospects and clients? Sounds good? Great. Let the journey begin. So as we just mentioned, the first question we want to address is, what is a value proposition? Well, I don't suppose there is a definitive definition, but I think here is one that should serve us well. And here it is. A value proposition is a clear, compelling, and believable declaration of the most persuasive results and benefits that a prospect should expect when they take the action you are suggesting. It seems straightforward enough, and yet there are still a lot of people, companies even, that think a value proposition has everything to do with their products or services, or that a value proposition ought to contain information about some usually esoteric award won or subjective milestone achieved. For example, let's have a look at the value proposition being presented to us by Acme Accounting, a firm who's apparently pretty excited about having been in business for the last 10 years. Well, were they surprised they managed to make it that far? Anyway, Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Acme. We offer a wide range of accounting services, delivered via our high-tech, cloud-based delivery platform which leverages the talents of over 45 accounting professionals. All right, I guess that's clear enough, but would you say that that recital meets the definition of a value proposition? Answer? Actually, no. Indeed, as I'm sure you would agree, what Acme is showing is not a value proposition. But why not? Well, let's think back to our definition. Are they telling us anything about the results we can expect if we sign up with them? In fact, do they even specifically articulate a single benefit that we could expect? As such, was their message compelling? My guess is you would have to say definitely not. And if we didn't find the message compelling, most assuredly, neither will Acme's prospects or clients. Well, so much for Acme and their supposed value proposition. Okay, with Acme as a case study, let's go ahead and build the structure for a much more powerful and effective Bookkeeping Express value proposition. But where to begin? There are so many things that BKE has to offer. Well, certainly we'll want to let prospects know that by working with Bookkeeping Express, they are likely to realize significant cost savings as well as time savings. Most certainly, we'll also want to assure our prospects that our service is easy to use and easy to adopt. And of course, we would have to let our clients and prospects know that they can count on BKE's accuracy, that we will maintain their company information securely, and finally, that when they become a partner of Bookkeeping Express, they will be able to access their accounting data from any screen, anywhere, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All right, that all looks pretty good. Let's stand back and have a look. Does this seem to be something that will hold up to our definition of value proposition? Hmm. Speaks to results, accuracy, security, access, and the benefits are rather clear. Cost savings, time savings, and the service is easy to use. Now that is a persuasive and compelling message, wouldn't you agree? Indeed, we are certainly on a roll, but we don't dare stop there, and here's why. Because when communicating with prospects or future clients, we can't merely tell them they should partner with us and embrace our value proposition. We have to convince them. And how do we do that? By expounding upon the elements of our value proposition and by engaging in a dialogue in which you will proceed to specify, quantify, justify, and identify. And here's how we just might do that. Let's say we want to help our prospect to be convinced of Bookkeeping Express's ability to provide them the benefit of material cost savings. Step one, 
specify. And what we want to specify is exactly which cost savings we're speaking of. Ah, okay. So we'll be specifically talking about the cost savings that are derived from using Bookkeeping Express as their bookkeeping solutions provider. All right, next, we want to quantify. To be sure, your prospect has had all sorts of would-be vendors in front of them waving their arms about cost savings. But if we want to make an impact, we're going to have to be a lot more specific. When it comes to cost savings, empty adjectives like big, a lot, substantial, material are going to fall on deaf ears. Your prospect is looking for something quantifiable. They want to know in numbers exactly how much savings they can expect. Well, you reply, on average, our clients save about 25% per month versus the cost of their current bookkeeping solution when they partner with us. So that means if I'm a small business owner spending, say, $1,500 per month for my bookkeeper, I have a pretty good idea of the cost savings that Bookkeeping Express is prepared to offer me. Brilliant. All right, moving on. We need to offer a sense of comfort that we can actually deliver the benefits that we have specified and quantified. That is, we need to help the prospect justify in his or her mind that our claims are credible. Often this means that we have to provide a bit, but mind you only a bit, of information about the how. How, for example, are we able to deliver such attractive savings? But be careful here. It is all too easy to head down the slippery slope of turning your discussion about value into one about technology. So, take caution and be brief. For example, you might simply offer, leveraging the scale and power of our various state-of-the-art software platforms, the economies of the web and the cloud, and by continuing to refine our own internal processes, we are able to achieve significant efficiencies which result in the cost savings we are able to pass along to our customers. And finally, we come to identify. Well, what do we mean by identify? What we mean is to precisely identify the benefit or benefits, or really the ultimate result, the prospect will receive in the clearest, simplest terms possible. Now note, this step also comes with a word of caution. The caution is, don't forget the step. People often skip this step because they think that what they would otherwise say is simply too obvious. For example, in identifying the benefit in our cost savings example, you might simply wrap up your narrative by saying, and those dollars you save could be reinvested to grow your company, or you might even choose to put a few more hard-earned dollars right into your pocket. Again, even if it seems obvious, make the point. You can never assume that just because you state fact A, followed by fact B, that the prospect will always come to conclusion C. And besides that, by clearly articulating the ultimate benefit or result, say, money in his pocket, you will help to create a picture of that result or benefit in your client's mind's eye. And that goes a long way toward convincing. Now that we have a model for communicating our value proposition in a compelling and convincing manner, let's take a couple of more practice shots. This time, let's have a go at helping our prospect to appreciate our ability to offer the benefit of time savings. Here we go. First step, we specify that the time savings are indeed the benefit we are offering. We might say, one of the key benefits of using BKE is that we afford you significant time savings. Next, we quantify. How much time exactly can our overworked small business owner hope to save? Well, the fact is many small business owners like yourself spend up to four hours per day on accounting and accounting related matters. Our goal is to reduce that four hours to less than 15 minutes. Next, we justify. That is, we try to back up our claim by touching just a bit on the how. Mrs. Prospect, we save you time by doing the majority of the bookkeeping and transaction processing for you. Using proprietary automation technology, we collect general ledger data directly from your point of sales terminal, from your bank, or from your credit card. Your invoices are piling up. 
Simply scan them to us. We record your vendor invoices for you and post them so that when you want them paid, you simply click. We cut the check and deliver the funds to the vendor for you. That's right, no more tedious and time-consuming data entry, paper pushing, or filing for you. And that, of course, translates into time savings. And finally, we identify the actual benefit. Again, this step is really about stating and reinforcing the so what by identifying the actual, tangible, end result and allowing the prospect really to begin to see the potential in their mind. You know, Mrs. Prospect, studies indicate that small business owners like you spend more than 58% of their time on administration. Bookkeeping Express allows you to reduce your administrative time, which gives you the ability to spend more hours focused on activities that actually generate profits. What's more, the time savings you realize when you hire BKE might just allow you to spend a few more hours at home enjoying the fruits of your hard work. Okay. We've worked hard, but let's run our drill just one last time. This time, let's have a quick look at the BKE value proposition element of accuracy. Quickly, all right, here we go. First, we specify that we are talking about accuracy and that, in fact, this is a benefit that BKE prides itself upon delivering. Next, we quantify. Accurate? How accurate? In fact, based on our experience, we believe that our accuracy rate consistently runs at about 99%. Now we justify, helping the prospect to believe we can do what we say we can do. We drive accuracy by minimizing manual processes, thereby limiting the opportunity for human error, while leveraging error detection controls that are built into our state-of-the-art software platforms, and also by employing highly refined procedures of review and approval throughout the organization. And finally, we plant the vision of the ultimate favorable result. Knowing your records are accurate enables you to trust your accounting data and make business decisions with confidence and peace of mind. Well, that brings us to the end of this video course. But let's do a quick recap before we adjourn. As we agreed, we set out to answer the following questions. What is a value proposition? What are the key elements to consider when architecting a solid value proposition for the company? What specifically is BKE's value proposition? And finally, how can we most effectively communicate our mission-critical value proposition message to our client? And hopefully you agree we have done just that. And so where do we go from here? Well, a next great step would be for you to think about how you, using your own words and style, might communicate the remaining elements of the BKE value proposition to your clients and prospects. And don't forget to set some time aside to practice and to commit some of the things we have learned here today to memory. You can be sure that mastering the BKE value proposition will help you to elevate your game as a salesperson and put you well down the road to your path to success. On behalf of Bookkeeping Express, Thank you for tuning in today and for being an important part of the Bookkeeping Express team. And don't forget to check out the new assets, courses, and other resources coming soon to the Bookkeeping Express University and the Bookkeeping Express University Library. And so until next time, thank you.